Norton Castle. There's also a castle to the north, which a bridge goes to that castle. And then there's another bridge that goes to the west that goes to another castle to the west. See, you know, it's like it's like Rasmund was saying the other slaves from that Harkenvold area are probably in the western castle. Because that, that's basically where he's seen them. That's where we need to go. <clears throat> Then west, where do we go? We Willie, what's up? Do you think uh, your uh, rogue skills are up to par to go to work? Absolutely. Nice. Excellent. Now, now, that, now I've had that meal, I think, uh, I think I'll be good again. Get on that. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Pass me, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, and go ahead. Yeah, sure. Head. Deduct your spell points and put your uh, put your icon sure. up there. Absolutely. Sure thing. Yeah, Kim Jong Mu. It's a. Uh, it's really fun, man. It's really easy. So, and Kim, you can you can actually see that there are some some prints, some footprints that are basically heading heading west towards the door. Is there a door down sure. This corner? Uh, you know what, Crasher? That is a door, and yeah, I'm glad that you saw that. <clears throat> I'm glad that you I saw that. Do you want to quickly check this out before we go anywhere? Uh, Let's trust man. You know where this goes. Okay. Sure. You can. Uh, you are you going to just open up the door, or what? What do you want to do with it? That is up to you, there, Mister Crasher. Do you feel daring, punk? Huh? Do you? I'll uh, do a perception and see if I hear anything behind the door. Okay, you can give me a perception check, absolutely. Now, seeing that he's a re he's not a rogue and he doesn't know what the hell he's looking for, his DC is automatically higher. I always do that, just by default. Just looks like a door, man. You're looking around, going, hmm. I know that I know that that Quillen guy used to talk about pressure plates on the floor and and all these you know secret little fish twine wires and stuff, but but you don't you don't see anything like that around here. You don't you know you're looking, but you don't you don't know what the hell you're looking for anyway. So, so you found a door. Can I check it out? <laughs> Can I check it out? Reaping strike! Okay, go ahead. I can't see anything wrong with the door. But if you want a second opinion, go ahead. Gim, are you kicking in that door or what? Reaping strike! I, I'm listening first. You don't listen. You, you don't, you don't uh, hear anything, Gim. Sounds quiet. Does it look like it's unlocked? Uh, it, Sure, it looks like it's unlocked. Well, I'm going in then. <laughs> all right. Okay. I lost where he was at. Shit. You all of a sudden, you everyone hears a fiery explosion coming from the hall. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, again, you get the door open, but but next time, guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys are checking this stuff. Be careful. All right. So, again, you walk in. And uh, there is a uh, a chest in this room, rather large chest, probably about about four to five feet across. I'm gonna tell Crasher, go get our new rogue. I found a chest. That needs real, to uh, you know, real quiet. I mean, it, it's a real small, dark room. Thanks, guys, for the falls again. Uh, Les Fonts, Simon, one twenty three. Frederico, uh, Salk UK, thank you guys so much for the follows. Totally appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the YouTube so, uh, channel. Man, Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Chest, you think you could, uh, have a quick look at here for us? Sure, show me where it's at. I'll take a look. Yeah, if we just go back this way towards the room we found you in. See the door in the bottom corner there? <clears throat> yeah, you were you were told not to go into this room, uh, Rasmund. This room was told, you know, by the Duagars. You know, you remember, uh, you remember Rundar, 
the pretty much the Smith that basically had you doing a lot of odd jobs for him, you know, fixing the locks and stuff around around Honor Hold. You, you remember hearing him saying that bad magic would, you know, kill you if you tried to open up this door. But do you remember this chest? This chest looks like the the same chest as uh, Rundar put all of your equipment, all of your gear, your you know, your swords, your weapons, all of your all of your gear that you had, you know, your tools. Everything is in this chest. It's the same chest that you remember. Alright, so I want to, uh, I guess, check and see... Uh, Kim jong -Mu. Thanks for the follow, Kim jong -Mu. Maybe there's any kind of traps. Sure, give me a... Uh, sure, give me a perception check. You know, you're giving it a once-over. You remember, well, you know... As Rundar, as he was putting everything in here in this chest, you remember him just, you know, taking the chest and uh, basically putting it into this closet. And he was, you know, taking his hands and waving his hands and saying some things in dwarvish uh, over the door, you know, and he basically uh, pulling one over on you, you know. And after you know two weeks of you being hungry, you know, really not seeing a whole lot of, uh, actually no daylight at all, especially with you being a wood elf. You know, this is like, this is like kryptonite to you. So, you know, you were basically under the influence that, hey, man, maybe this dwarf was, you know, you ba basically your mind was like kind of playing tricks on you, you know, after being in this place for so long. But there's an, there's nothing on there. You you get the you get the latch open. You you know you get the the chest open. All of your belongings are in there. All of your belongings are in there. Your, right, your it looks like uh, looks like swords. all the gear here is yeah. uh, in this chest. Um, everything they took from me. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, take all my gear back, and uh, <clears throat> we'll give this other stuff back to the magical bag you have. <laughs> Feed the magical bag. Yeah, that's the one Feed thing the that bag. they kept you. Uh, you know, and, and Rundar he actually said that you know you would have use for him. You know, not only to him but to uh, the other Duogar as well. So you were kind of, I mean, by slavery standards here, and and, and Thunderspire, so. you were actually treated a little bit better than all of the other, you know, all of the other slaves. And just because you had a you had a certain skill set that they saw, you know, basically when they were take, you know, when they took your things from you back in the Harkonvold, you know, and then whenever you were sold, of course, your your uh, everything was sold with you, and then you know. The sellers, which were the orcs, basically told you know the dwarves here that hey, this guy is worth more. He's got a skill set, and this is what he had on him. So they basically knew that you were someone of the shadows. You know, had had a you know, use for lock picks and tools and stuff. So that's why they basically kept you separate from everyone else. Hey, Dave, can you put me in the room, please? Sure. You don't see your token. Yeah, I see my token. It's just lagging again, even though I got a uh, right new on. computer. Sure. Lastman, uh, did you find anything in the chest other than your belongings? It's not for everybody the hex. Do you want now, Crasher? It gets excite more exciting when you find anything in the chest other than his own belongings. No, just his stuff. You know, a couple pouches, a couple beautiful silver swords. Really nice armor. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much putting everything in his in his sheaths and equipping up. It's not for everyone, though, Hex. No, no offense. I I didn't. I I'm not taking any offense. Ready to go? It's just Looks not like for I'm everyone. Ready to go, guys. All right. Let's see if we can make nice. our way out of here. I'll follow him, Dave. Lead the way. All right. So, uh, now. Rasmin, you know that over this way, you know, through this door, um, over to the west, down over this way, you know that, you know, this door down here is, is pretty much where, you know, everyone else is being housed. Or, you know, you, you know, you kind of describe that there's another, uh, well, one of these bridge that, bridges that are, that are going across to, you know, the western keep. So, um... You, you know, you pull the door open, 
and you know you can see that there's a lit you know there's a lit causeway going across this 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 chasm this you know this this chasm isn't this chasm isn't as deep as the other one you know as you guys were coming in you can actually see the bottom which is probably about still a a good 50 60 70 foot fall that's if you were to fall off of you know fall off of of this you know bridge going across you can see the double doors across uh, also the the walls are are here i mean you can't see the walls because of the dynamic lighting and and whatnot but you can see that the keep does go uh, it's sort of like the same uh, hexagonal shape as the other castles i'm going to show you know, down here this calls. is the gorge oh uh, so you're going to go back to the north to the north door and well, that you pretty much destroyed those pitons as you were jamming and oh, jamming okay. them. Yeah, that's why I had you take right, them off your mind. your sheet. Now never you, mind. yeah, you could you you'll be able to get that door open. You'll definitely be able to get it open, but uh, you pretty much you're gonna have to probably just pretty much almost destroy that door to get it open because it's a stone door, and you basically jam those pitons down there to where you know it, they're gonna have to break the door down to get to get it open. All right, so uh, what do you guys? You guys see uh, several more windows, like uh, you know, as you were first coming into uh, the 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 hold that you, the part of the hold that you're in now, you know, there's several windows higher up, probably 20 feet. Uh, there's you know light coming through them. There's a couple dark windows also, and you can also look across. You can look way across to the east, well to the north. I'm sorry, and you can see several more across this deep gorge that goes into pure darkness you can see that there are several more of these bridges that are going across the gorge to this northern keep also so uh, I'm gonna ping I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys up here I'm gonna do a perception check and see if there's any anybody that's uh, looking through the windows all right and if I see anybody uh, to the north. Okay. Yeah, I don't. How'd you get out that door, Crasher? Oh, I was with my cat when she moved us up there. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, it's kind of weird. I didn't move your token. Your token went through the the, the forced wall. That's that's weird. Yeah, but you guys, you guys can see. You know, as you guys are out here on the bridge, you know, you guys can see Is there north walls on that bridge. On on the bridge to the north. Yeah, absolutely. On you, the bridge that we're on. Are we on a bridge? Yeah, you're you're on a br on a bridge right now. Yeah. Is it? Is there like little rails or? No, no. Just like, just like as in it's the. flat. Yeah, just like in the picture. You know this this picture here. Uh, they're flat. You know, there's there's no railings, right. nothing. Just just a just a flat bridge. Gotcha. You guys can you guys understand what I, the contrast that I was trying to do with the map, right? With the gorge down in there, and you know you can yes, see that the bridge is going across. All right, there you go. Yeah, but you can see there's there's several. You know, especially on this this uh the the hold on to the north, you can see that there's a couple entrances over there, and then there's a another uh, part of the hold that looks like it's even going farther north. But this is a uh, where you're at now to the west. This is a a massive hold also, and there's a, a huge double door in front of you. And Gim, as you were looking around, you didn't see anyone. Uh, and especially not even to the to the north, it, it was probably about a hundred to a hundred feet, a hundred hundred twenty five feet away. But you know, you, you don't see any anything in those windows either. In fact, you see more dark windows to the north than you do here to the west. <clears throat> All right. I like to get up to those doors and make a listen check. Okay. See if I can hear anything. Sure, sure, you can do that. Yeah. 
nothing sounds out of the ordinary. I mean, you can hear some, you know, clanking, and you can hear a couple, you know, shouts throughout, you know, past the door, but that's about it. Doesn't doesn't sound like there's anyone right on the other side of the door. Not not the what you can immediately. You know, not that you what you can tell. Stone doors. Oh yeah, stone doors. Yep, yep. Just like throughout oh, the, God, the you know the head. eastern part to of the, the hole that you were in. We lost Ren. I just shake my head to the party and okay. throw my shoulders up. Yeah, I think she. Uh, I think she went all day. I think her her connection's been a little little weird tonight. <clears throat> little pig, little pig, let me. Oh, I amend that. Little orc, little orc, let me in. So what do you guys think? I'm thinking uh, one of those Dugar that we killed uh, in the last room. I want to keep his image fresh in my mind and project a image um, of him. And if I could get one of my comrades to open up the door, I'll have that guy walk in. All right, so you're going to bang on the door, Just basically, the get the... Get the attention of the of the other dwarves in the keep. Bang. No, I'm just gonna make a image of one of those Dugar and have Gimli, if he would, op just open up the door if it's unlocked. My pleasure. And then have that Dugar just walk in. Using magic, right? Yeah, using a uh what is that? Illusion. Minor, yeah, minor illusion. Minor illusion with your uh, your conjuration feature, right? Yeah, with Making the illusion feature, to... yeah. I'll just have it appear uh, just right outside the door. Or right inside the door. It's a five foot image. Alright. So everybody's hanging out here on the on the ledge still. Everybody's still hanging out on the bridge. Yes. Yeah, I, I really don't know what's going on, guys. I'm not hearing a lot of a lot of communication. I really don't know. I, I know that you wanna yeah. okay. you wanna cast an illusion and that's that's uh -huh. about. I know you want to cast illusion. You want to have Gimli walk in. I don't know. I I, don't, I really don't oh, no, understand no, no. what's what's okay. going on. Okay. I'm trying to oh, trying to understand to this. Open, he wants me to open the door so his illusion can walk in. The open door can appear as if you know he opened, like the, like the opened Smith. up the door. Well, well. I'll let you do it as a duogar, seeing that you were knocked out and you were in the the fountain room. I'll let you do a duogar, but as for the That's smith, what I mean. yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, on those duogar that we've seen in the guard room, or that enlarged duogar that yeah. I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on. Yeah, that was uh, close. Just make a. I'll just make a. Uh, an image of him, not in large, of course, but just a regular Dugar. Okay. He doesn't have any voice or nothing like that. You're not, you're not going to project any. I don't think you can project any voice, can you? I can do a voice or like the image. I don't think I can do both with the minor. Okay. So I could, uh, yeah, I could have sounds, but. I'm doing the image instead. All right, so I'll give you a a, a do of our token that you can control. So you cast your illusion. Your uh, 
Illusion is there in front of you. Gim, I guess you're going to open the door then. And while Ren and, and Crasher and uh, the new Wood Elf Rasmin are, are all, all out here as well. Yeah, if Crasher get out of the way. Well, Crasher's in the in the back. The I'm the illusion, the, the yeah, the illusion's uh pretty much right here. So, Gim, you can get up to the door. Oh, all right. The the door, the door is actually locked. The the door is not okay. opening up. Uh, the, this this door appears to be probably something behind the door keeping it uh, keeping it closed. Okay, I say it's locked, and I back off. Yeah, you, you push on it, and it, it's definitely locked. Uh, there's there's a keyhole. There's you know there's a keyhole. It's probably boarded from the other side. I mean, you, you know that one of the the dwarves did come this way. So there's you know chances are they know you're here. So that's probably why that the you know why the door is actually you know closed. You know, you haven't had really had any any problems at all with any of the other doors in here, not yet. This is really pretty much the first door that you found that was actually locked. Well, barred, anyways. I mean, it's not like the doors the doors are not really locked. I mean, it's you can still you know open the knob. It's just you know it's something behind the doors keeping keeping it closed. Gimli, I didn't hear anything. Can you hear anything beyond that door? My perception check was a 14, and I didn't hear squat. You didn't hear anything either? Okay. That's uh, nice and quiet. Well. Is it, is it possible, Dave, that it's just locked, or are, are we pretty sure that it's boarded up? Uh, you can. You saw Gimli pushing on the door, and you know you saw him tinkering with I mean, you can go up there and look at it if you'd like. Yeah, I'd like to go up and at least try to maybe see if I can give me the lock open. Okay. If if that's you know, we'll see if that's what's holding it. Yeah, this is this is one of the locks that uh, you, you you haven't worked on this lock, but no, it's it's definitely not locked. There's something behind the door, probably a, a wooden plank, probably keeping the you know keeping the door mounted together on a couple you know rails behind the door. All right. Is there another way for us to get into the castle? Mm, uh, yeah. We can go north. We could go north. Is the north castle connected to the west castle? Braston? No, it's not. It's three separate castles. North, ca north hold, west hold where you're at now, east hold. The bridges connect. They, they basically connect the three holds together. Basically, making a triangle type of tri hold with the you know the bridges in between connecting. Well, if we can't get through this door, we'll have to go north. Gim, you're a dwarf, man. You could you can. I'm gonna tell you. you it seems like you could probably break this door down. I'm surprised okay. you didn't. I'm surprised I'm you didn't ask that. Well, you said it was a stone door. Well, it, it is a stone door, but like I said, there's a, there's a piece of wood behind it. So, and like I was saying, you know, it is. Uh, you could definitely, but you could try to force the door open with a strength check. You can always try to do that. Uh, is there uh, uh, any space between uh, any gaps? Uh, you got a nice both fours? You got a nice thirty foot ramp that you can run and get a nice running running start. Full steam ahead into that door if you want. Is there is there a gap between the doors? There is a a, a very small gap between the door that you can you, you can barely see light coming through. Not like a gap so that I you can't can. Get my axe through there. No, you can't. No. Okay. Any, uh, you guys want to trying to get him to to do battery? other things, uh, but they're ramps. Uh, no, I, I think I'm going to get out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to move back to avoid the splinters. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, I I'm get the way one, 15 foot. Gangway, people. Make room. 
trying to get them to do other things except for just opening up doors or you know stuff like that. No. Try to get them to be a little bit more. I'm, I'm uh, trying. I'm trying. It's just slow for me. Trying to get them to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more creative on the. Yeah, it's not moving too quick. There we doing go. different things. Okay. Let's see if he yells Reap and Strike. On the count of three. Bubonic one, thanks, man. One, Appreciate it. Two. Three. <laughs> All right, Gim, so you get a, a good, nice 20 foot head start into the door. Give me a. Give me a strength check, and uh, you know what? You can even add in athletics if you're proficient in athletics, which I think you are. Just go ahead and give me an athletics roll. So that's 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 plenty, Gim. I, I was only looking for a 12 DC. So you know, you get a good, nice 20 foot, you know, charge. You get down in like a like a three point stance, like a like a a defender. Charge the door. Ruins Taylor. Bam. That that, sto that double storm do door flies open, you know. And there's a uh, little orc, little orc, let me in. Crash as you, you know, crash as you open the door. You know, some uh, a couple wooden boards, a couple wooden planks, kind of fly off to the side. And this is what you see as you enter enter the uh, the western hold. You know, here, you're here now inside the door. You can see that there's a chamber going north. There's also a uh, little, little, I would say a little cubby to the south. It has a, a couple hooks. Uh, there's some cloaks on these hooks. There's a, looks like there's three doors in front of you. There's a double door straight to the west. There's a door to the north and a door to the south. And you can hear, also you, you can hear uh, what, what appears to be the sounds of dwarves yelling. And sort of in the in the background. You're not sure which way it's coming from, but they definitely know of your they definitely know of your presence. Okay, I'm going to check uh, the south alcove. Uh, okay, yeah, the the, the south alcove it, it has about uh, I'd say about a half a dozen hooks hanging on the walls about about three feet about three feet up perfect height for a dwarf and they're you know basically just walking cloaks journey cloaks you know some of them are hooded some of them are not hooded I'm going to rummage through the pockets oh uh, you just find uh, just pieces of tinder a uh, couple used handkerchiefs no nothing nothing out of the ordinary Couple, couple pieces okay. of dwarvish, a uh, couple pieces of dwarvish candy, as well. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> no dwarvish candy for you. But they're 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 used cloaks, so you know you can tell that they've been traveled. They're they're darker colors, so they're basically like a like a like a dark brown. And there's you know there's the six cloaks, text, uh, three hooded, three not hooded. I'm getting the lag Farland was complaining about. Oh yeah. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna move my image ten feet into the room, and I'm gonna be right behind Crasher. All right, Farlin, you get moved up. Now you see, uh, you know, like I said, uh, multiple doors. You can see that there's sconces on the wall with, you know, basically like a like a, a dragon head coming out of the wall, holding uh, torches, and you know the torches are, are burning. So it's a brightly lit area. You can see Gim over there scrounging through all of these these traveling or wandering cloaks. Uh, kind of throwing things as he's looking through the pockets. Ah, this is no good. This is no good. Ah, lint, pocket lint. What in <laughs> hell? He finds a couple. He finds a couple copper coins and says, "Copper? I didn't know anybody uses these anymore." And you know, he's just continually going through all of the pockets. But you see a, a beautiful carpet uh, in front of you, uh, definitely of, of a, a, a dwarvish quality. Uh, three doors: double door to your west, door to the north, south, and also a corridor leading to the north. And you okay, can see that this this, this kind of corridor kind of bends to the to the north northwest also. Does this